or is suffering from persistent musculoskeletal pain in different parts of your body, shockwave therapy is a wonderful option for you to have a long-lasting effect by a non-invasive technique. We're going to talk about what are the different musculoskeletal conditions uh, shockwave therapy is helpful for in active healing and also regeneration of the tissues by increasing the blood supply. Starting from the top, TMJ problems, if you have any jaw pain or jaw injuries, you can have <coughs> a lot of shockwave in that area and um, the joint is very effective for that. And neck pain, like you know, and also sub, uh, sub-occipital headaches, if you have a lot of headaches, it has been shown very effective, especially after your whip flash and motor vehicle accidents. Um, that area is really good effect for the shockwave therapy and you can treat your paraspinals along the neck to shoulder blade area. And also if you have any pain between the shoulder blades, that trigger points or any kind of relief you need there, you can give shockwave there too. And obviously your lower back pain and also the sacroiliac jo joint pain. So it's very effective for spinal conditions. Coming to the shoulder, shockwave is very effective in any junction, anywhere the tendon is joining the bone or the ligaments are joining the bone. And they've got a lot of that happening in the shoulder area. So this shockwave is very effective for the shoulder conditions like your any kind of tendon issues, tendinitis, tendinopathy, rotator cuff injuries, adhesive capsulitis, frozen shoulder, because this one really helpful in breaking the adhesions and also improving the mobility and blood supply in the shoulder joint. So lots of shoulder conditions, we can use shockwave for that. Then coming down here, your elbow, very common conditions, your tennis elbow and the golfer's elbow on both sides of your elbow, tendon joining the bone area, very, very effective in that area. So you can use it very well. And also you can use it for trigger points along the forearm as well. And then coming down from your forearm all the way to the wrist, like you know, you can have a decoherent stenosynovitis, the inflammation of the tendon here, and also wrist joint stiffness and carpal tunnel syndrome, those areas also, not in the very acute stage, in the subacute chronic stage, uh, we can use um, shockwave therapy, the different frequencies, different parameters we can set, we can use those conditions as well. Coming to your hip, like any kind of, I told you already, a sacroiliac joint pain and also anterior hip pain. Sometimes it's very effective you know, to reach the anterior hip pain as well. And in the side here, you got the trochanter, right? And you can have a trochantric bursitis and also uh, gluteal tendinopathy, gluteus medius tendinopathy, and also trochantric bursitis condition in that area. It is a very painful condition. You can't lie on the side, you can't move your leg, it will be hurting very much on the side. Again, shockwave therapy is very effective in um, uh, healing these areas here. And then coming down, any kind of trigger points or hematoma areas in this area, muscles are very effective. Coming to the knee, uh, you got your jumper's knee, runner's knee, petal femoral pain, anterior knee pain, all those tendinitis around that area, and also ligament to enhance the ligament healing. Um, shockwave is very effective. And shin splints and very common, right? Uh, with a lot of athletes and um, marathon runners, runners, very common area. Shin splints is very effective with shockwave. Coming down to your foot, um, in your back of the uh, foot here, plantar fasciitis right here, and heel pain, and uh, calcaneal spur, and a lot of these conditions here, and also your plantar fascia problem in here, or midfoot tendinitis, or hindfoot tendinitis, or forefoot tendinitis, and shockwave is very effective. It has a great effect for all persistent pain in musculoskeletal feed from bumper to bumper. Okay, so if you have any questions, reach out to us. The treatment lasts anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. We'll do a thorough assessment to make sure that uh, what's going on, what's the right cause, where's the right area to work on, and if you're a candidate for shockwave or not. If you're a candidate for shockwave, we'll give you shockwave therapy treatment. Um, number of shots and parameters depends on your condition and stage of your condition. Okay, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to call us Girish Srinivasan, registered physical therapist at Instep Physical Therapy and Massage Therapy, Edmonton. Alberta.